Hello everyone, Thought I'd come to you with a different video today. I'm going to be reviewing a uh, new steering wheel I just bought, uh, which I've been mainly using for Forza Motorsport 4. Uh, but it's not really new. Uh, I got it off eBay for around £20, I think, uh, plus the postage and stuff. Um, it's the Mad Cats MC2 wheel, the original one. Um, this thing is seven years old, yes, seven, 2006. Um, it's a great wheel to be honest, um, there are some pros and cons, uh, let's go for the pros first, um, it's it's actually a really good build, that is a really stiff wheel with some really good force feedback, um, obviously it's a spring in there and it's really, really solid, um, it um, fits around your legs well, it's designed to sit on your lap and a table, has suction cups there, um, Another cool thing is it has these things that come out on the side that wrap around your legs, which is kind of cool. They come out there, they lock, then you just kind of push them go back in, which I can't do one-handed. Yeah, that, that that was quite loud. Um, but yeah, uh, here's your D-pad, uh, Xbox guide button, uh, back and start. Uh, I think that's the left stick meant to be when you you know click the the uh, stick in, you know. Um, and that's obviously the right uh, B, A, X, Y buttons. Uh, it's got flappy pedals. Um, if you pull it, sorry, uh, yeah, push it back away from you, it's A button. Push it towards, sorry, pull it towards you this way, you know. Um, it's R, B, and the same, except that button is. Oh, that's A, sorry, and that's X. So I'm looking at my camera screen. Um, but yeah, that's LB and A, A and LB, and X and RB. So they represent your bumpers, obviously, there and there. So um, as a sequential shifter, as you can see, forward, back. So, you know, you can have a bit like a Le Mans racer, you know, back, back, forward, forward. It's kind of cool, I like that. Um, yeah, so, um, and as well, you've got a connection for your... Uh, Xbox headset there, same one you get on the controller as you can see, pretty much the same not much difference there but yeah, I haven't really tr I haven't tried it for one, my Xbox Live has run out and two um, I don't want to put a headset on as my ears are damaged as I explained in my Call of Duty uh, playthrough but anyway that's a long story um, moving on to the pedals uh, this is kind of more of a con now. Um, they're really well built, don't get me wrong. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the, des the, <laughs> the design. Um, it's kind of... The pedals aren't actually mounted down. They're kind of like this, kind of, and then they push down. So it's kind of... That bends, and then it's kind of... Yeah, I don't really like it, but you get used to it after a while. Um, but the new... The new models are kind of literally just like that, so you know, mounted to the floor, and you can, yeah. But it's not bad, you know. Obviously, the brake is more, it's kind of squeaky the brake pedal, but it's more solid than the um, accelerator. Uh, you got a nice footrest there, which is uh, obviously rubber, it's quite nice. Um, and the back, there's grips which work really well, they don't move at all, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, and as well, uh, the cable that connects this thing is like a monitor connector, uh, VGA, it's like that. Um, I think the wire on this has been yanked a few times and uh, I have a problem with the pedals. I can't pull away in first gear on Forza. It just revs as if you'd be in neutral or you'd have the handbrake on. So I have to quickly put it into seconds, get it rolling, then put it, drop it down into first again. Um, so... While I do the gameplay video, you've probably seen me do that. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. I've tried everything to try and fix it. Um, but that, that's the only sort of downside to it, really. And another downside, maybe to some of you, is that it's wired. It's not wireless at all. Um, but I personally think this is a better thing. Because I believe that you get better um, connection, you know, better feedback with wired. Um, so that's personally my opinion on that. But overall, it's a good wheel. I'll give it probably a 9 out of 10. Um... It's really solid, and I know it looks flimsy and cheap, but it's actually really solid. I mean, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, the gears are really nice. The buttons are really solid when you're changing gear. Um, 
Yeah, the pedals are good, they work really well, it's just that design, I don't know what they were thinking with that, it's kind of weird. I just don't really know, it's odd, but, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not bad for the money, I guess, it's kind of cheap. Because um, I did want to get the more updated version from PC World, I think. It was like £30, and I looked on the website the night before, I had a sequential gearbox, and... Um, I went down to PC World the next day and uh, picked one up and I thought, that hasn't got the shifter, like the picture just had the same uh, the same as that side on this side, you know, just smooth, no gearbox there at all. I thought this is weird, so I was a bit cheeky and I opened up the box while I was in the shop and there was no gearbox, so I was like, oh, okay, so I walked away and uh, <coughs> sorry, my voice cracked then, uh, and I got home, went on the iPad and looked on eBay and I found this one, I knew it was going to be a <clears throat> my voice cracked again. I know it's going to be an older model, but then I looked at the pedals underneath, and it said uh, 2006. I was like, wow, okay. Um, but it's not bad, you know. It came from uh, Lancashire, I believe, up north, so it came a long way. Um, it only took like two days to come down, I think, which wasn't too bad. So I, like, I live down south, so. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's not a bad will. I know there are better ones out there on the market, but. I'm on a low budget, I don't take the whole uh, simulator thing too seriously, but, you know, I, I do do try to race properly. Um, but yeah, so, and when the gameplay video comes out, uh, forgive my driving, I've only had this wheel for a, for a day now, not even a day yet, so, um, I'm still getting used to it, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.